Hello everyone, welcome to the Forex Strategy Explorer channel. In this video, we will discuss a 1 minute gold scalping strategy using a very easy and highly profitable method. This 1 minute gold scalping strategy, or XAU USD scalping, is very easy to use for everyone, including if you are a beginner trader. And this 1 minute scalping strategy can be used on almost all trading applications, such as TradingView, MetaTrader 4 or MT4, MetaTrader 5 or MT5, and many other trading applications. So, make sure to stay with us until the end of the video. And don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. The 1 minute gold scalping strategy that will be discussed in this video can work very effectively if you understand how to use it correctly. And besides being used on the gold pair or XAU USD, this 1 minute scalping strategy can also be used on other assets such as Forex, Crypto, or various other assets. In this example, we will use this 1 minute scalping strategy with TradingView. Now, open your TradingView. Then, go to the Indicator Search tab. In the Indicator Search tab, type in Williams Fractals. After that, go to the settings of the Williams Fractals Indicator. In the Input tab, make sure to set the Williams Fractals period to 2. Then go to the Style tab. To make it easier for you to see this indicator, change the color of the first shape to green. And for the second shape, change the color to red. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes. The Williams Fractals Indicator provides information about the highest and lowest points of the price candlestick within a certain period. When the price fails to break the previous lowest or highest point, a Williams Fractals Triangle will appear. For example, if in a bullish movement the price candlestick fails to break the previous highest point, a Williams Fractals Triangle will appear on the second candlestick from that highest price point. Similarly, if in a bearish movement the price candlestick fails to break the previous lowest point, a Williams Fractals Triangle will appear on the second candlestick from that lowest price point. We will use these triangle signals as guides to place buy or sell orders. The green triangle will guide us to place buy orders while the red triangle will guide us to place sell orders. However, as usual, this indicator should not be used as a standalone indicator. Therefore, we need to add one more indicator to guide the market trend. Go to the indicator search tab and type in moving average ribbon. Then select the moving average ribbon from trading view. Next, Go to the settings of the Moving Average Ribbon Indicator. In the Input tab, uncheck the box for MA number 4. Then change MA number 1 to EMA and set the EMA length to 20. After that, change MA number 2 to EMA and set the EMA length to 50. Finally, change MA number 3 to EMA and set the EMA length to 100. For the colors, you can adjust them according to your preference. However, if you want to follow my settings, change the color of EMA number 1 to white. Then change the color of EMA number 2 to yellow. Lastly, change the color of EMA number 3 to red. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes. This MA ribbon indicator will be used as a guide for market trends. If the EMA 20 is above the EMA 50 and both EMAs are above the EMA 100, it indicates a bullish trend. In this position, your main focus should be finding the best points to place by orders. Conversely, if the EMA 20 is above the EMA 50 but both EMAs are below the EMA 100, it indicates a bearish trend. In this position, your main focus should be finding the best points to place. Sell orders. Before using this 1 minute scalping strategy, there are several conditions you must understand. 1. To place buy or sell orders, ensure the EMA lines are in the correct order. If you want to place a buy order, ensure the EMA 20 is at the top, the EMA 50 is in the middle, and the EMA 100 is at the bottom. If this is not the case, cancel the buy setup. Conversely, 
If you want to place a sell order, ensure the EMA 20 is at the bottom, the EMA 50 is in the middle, and the EMA 100 is at the top. If this is not the case, cancel the sell setup. 2. Before placing a buy or sell order, wait for the price candlestick to retest the EMA 20 to EMA 50 area, however, if during the retest the price candlestick touches the EMA 100. Cancel the setup. Examples, when the market is in a bullish trend, you must wait for the price candlestick to retest the EMA 20 in EMA 50 areas. If the price candlestick continues to move down and touches the EMA 100, immediately cancel the setup. You can wait for the EMA 20 and EMA 50 lines to cross again before placing the next order. For example, if the price candlestick touches the EMA 100, you can wait for the EMA 20 and EMA 50 to correct the trend again before placing an order. Ensure that during this correction, both EMAs remain above the EMA 100. If this condition has not occurred, do not place any orders. The same applies if the market is in a bearish trend. Now let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this 1-minute gold scalping strategy. Placing a buy order. 1. If the EMA 20 and EMA 50 intersect or are above the EMA 100, it indicates a bullish trend. Your primary focus at this point is to find the best entry point to place a buy order. 2. Before placing the order, ensure that the EMA 20 is positioned at the top, EMA 50 is in the second position, and EMA 100 is at the bottom. 3. Next, wait for the price candlestick to retest the EMA area. However, make sure that during the retest, the candlestick does not touch the EMA 100. 4. Then, wait for the William Fractal Triangle to appear green. 5. As a final confirmation, ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick is closed. Seven. Place the stop loss at the tip of the last William Fractal arrow. Eight. Target the take profit using a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Nine. Placing a sell order. One. If the EMA 20 and EMA 50 intersect or are below the EMA 100, it indicates a bearish trend. Your primary focus at this point is to find the best entry point to place a sell order. 2. Before placing the order, ensure that the EMA 20 is positioned at the bottom, EMA 50 is in the second position, and EMA 100 is at the top. 3. Next, wait for the price candlestick to retest the EMA area. However, make sure that during the retest, the candlestick does not touch the EMA 100. 4. Then, wait for the William Fractal Triangle to appear red. 5. As a final confirmation, ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish. 6. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick is closed. Seven. Place the stop loss at the tip of the last William Fractal arrow. Eight. Target the take profit using a risk and reward ratio of one to one point five. Remember to maintain your money management and trading psychology, as no trading strategy can guarantee a one hundred percent win rate. That concludes this video, and I'll see you in the next one.